Shabbat Shalom, Shalom. Give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahan, Kadash. Double honors to the Apostle and Brothers of Great Millstone and the blessing to the elect of Yahshua, which consists of the Negro, Latino, and Native American. And blessing and salutation to the Akim Abdul Jabbar's truth across the four corners of the earth. Getting straight into it. I was doing a little reading and then, uh, you know, basically based off of the conversations that brothers be having in spirit that's out there, you know, by way of the apostle and, and the Akim, and, you know, ultimately by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it's just, you know, it's the next level. You know, we, we are, this is not, we are living waters, okay? We're not stagnant waters. We're not waters. The water is just sitting there. We are supposed to be living waters, you know, moving constantly getting better in a sense as well, you know, because it's the most high who gives the increase. So, um, Lord willing, this is edifying. I just want to jump straight into it because um, it's, it's got some scriptures. It's got some scriptures. Okay, so this is um, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 13. It says, moreover, by the means of her, and it's speaking of wisdom, you know, once you get to the top of the chapter and everything, it says, I shall obtain immortality. And leave behind me an everlasting memorial to them that come after me. And when I read it, you know, based on what the spirit has got out there, um, you don't want to have a, a bad name or a bad reputation, which we'll get into that as well. You know, like if you died today, what could people say about you? What would people say about you? You know, yeah, everybody cool, but you, people would say what they really wanted to say when you was alive, you know, and us being men of the Lord, we are to represent Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, okay, this is not of us, of course, but the fact that we're servants or laborers or workers, we, um, it's just like a company, all right, it's just like a company. You represent your company, especially if you got to go to a conference meeting or some sort. You know, you represent your com your, uh, your company that you work for. Well, we work for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so we are to represent him when we are out there, okay, when we're putting ourselves out there in whatever manner, all right? And it just got me in the mindset of Yahweh Shai, you know, whom the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. When he was on the scene, he, he always made sure you knew that it was it was not of him, you know. He always made sure that you knew that it was not of him. He wasn't there on his own terms. He wasn't there doing his own his own thing. He was always giving reverence to Yahweh, uh, to the Most High Yahweh. All right, when we were ignorantly called God, you know, his Father. No matter what, he made sure of that. And uh, it just got me in a sense like. That's, that's us as well. We're representing the greatest power known in, in the universe. You know, so if we die today, what, and if, you know, people knowing that we proclaim to be a man of the Lord, or be a prophet, or whatever the case is, what could they actually say about us, our name, and our reputation, you know? So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get into the these scriptures right quick, you know? Because once you read in the scripture, uh, so like in this chapter, it, it explains about wisdom. Of course, we know about wisdom and achieving in all things and all of that, you know. And uh, this scripture as well, it says, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 15, for righteousness is immortal, you know. Because at the end of the day, the fact that our kingdom, once we get our kingdom, it's going to be everlasting forevermore is due to the fact of righteousness because that righteousness comes by with that wisdom okay by way of wisdom it allows you to keep and do the right thing so once we get our kingdom and it's established and we're have and we have righteousness in our kingdom it has to continue because there's no reason for it not to continue okay because as the scriptures say for for injuries and, and unrighteous dealings and riches got by deceit, one kingdom is translated, uh, a kingdom is translated from one people to another. Okay. So, um, 
yeah, let me let me get into this. So this is First John five and nine. It says, if we receive the witness of men, the witness of the Most High is greater. For this is the witness of the Most High, which He hath testified of His Son. He that believeth on the Son of the Most High hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not, all right, the Most High hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that the Most High gave of his Son. And this is the record, that the Most High hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son, okay? He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of the Most High hath not life. He that believeth not is condemned already, as the scriptures say. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of the Most High, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of the Most High. Of course, we he's the mediator. We get to the Most High by his Son, Yahweh okay? Now, when you look into the word name, it also means your reputation, man. You know, it also means your reputation, okay? As well as, um, let me see this one. Let me do this one. Let's see. Like, the, the, way, the way people know you of or remember you by, you know, like, the name that the people know me in the city, they they know, you know, I play ball. You know what I'm saying? All the Akim don't know that because that's irrelevant when it comes to his truth. You know? What? When you, hey, because it talks about having your name, <laughs> your name written in the book of life, right? You know, that's going to come with your reputation, with the things you've done, man. All right? It says name, uh, universal proper name, says the name is used for everything which the name covers. Everything the, uh, everything the thought or feeling of which is aroused in the mind by mentioning, hearing, remembering the name, i.e. for one's rank, authority, interest, pleasure, command, excellences, deeds, etc. So it's your reputation, man. Okay. And uh, as the scripture was saying, that that's what we, we are, we're here to teach and preach and believe on the, the name of Yahweh all right? Calling on that name and, and his reputation. Because what? And that's Second Peter's, okay? Second Peter's 2 and 12, which is further down, but I, I had to get all of this. Uh, Second Peter's 2 and 12, it says, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles. Your conversation is your behavior, okay? Among the Gentiles are whoever is, is not grafted in or whoever through Yahweh Bashim Shai, we're trying to convert or to convince that this is the real deal, man. You know, because brothers as well as apostles and elders have been bringing out beautiful points on why we need to carry ourselves better, which goes to our conversation, okay? Let's see what that honest, that word honest is. Says beautiful, handsome, excellent, eminent, choice, surpassing, precious, useful, suitable, comm uh, commendable, admirable. <laughs> so that's how our behavior is supposed to put forth, man. Good, excellent in the nature of characteristics, and there, uh, therefore, well adapted to an end, genuine, approved, right? Now let's say, uh, 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 give diligence. No, no, not not that one. Uh, study to show thyself approved. Okay. Because once you study and get into these words and you start to, you know, like the Apostle Elder Gabbara says, extrapolate, you're putting yourself in those situations, you're visualizing all of that and, and, and seeing what's going on. It's like, oh, that's how we carried ourselves. All right. Precious, um, joined to names of men, designated by their office, competent, able, such as one ought to be, praiseworthy, noble, morally good. <laughs> honorable, you know what I'm saying, and you get the point, so that's how our conversation, our behavior is supposed to be, man, okay, it says, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme, or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers, 
and for the praise of them that do well. Now, that's basically, um, yeah, we serve Yahweh by Shinyal Shai, but in a sense of render unto Caesar the things that are unto Caesar, we have to keep the laws of the land. We are not in our land. We are not in our rulership. So this place has certain laws and, and rules and, and, you know, whatever that we have to uphold. Now, of course, if they, everybody must eat pork at 7 o'clock every night. No, those things that go against the Heavenly Father, you know. And all of that comes with wisdom as well. You know, that comes with wisdom and, and, and spiritual understanding as the scriptures speak about. Okay, it's not just can't be too technical with this thing. It's a spiritual thing. You gotta have that that you can't be a natural man and be expecting to survive on spiritual food. It says, uh, for so is the will of the most high, that with well doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. Okay, people who um have bad assumptions about us, don't fully understand us, but we don't give them the ammo either, you know. We carry ourselves honest, man. All right. It says, as free and not using your liberty, uh, slacky at liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of the most high. Yeah, we, we, hey, look, we got it. We, the Lord allowed us to have, you know, to understand this knowledge. Okay. But it's not to boast ourselves. Like we talked about the branches. Don't boast yourself against the branch because they too can be grafted back in. You know, as we were once not grafted in, all right, just as well as the Lord can give it to you, he can take it from you, man. So you don't use the truth as, as I can do this or do that. You know, all things are, are lawful, but not expedient or, or, you know, no, man, just keep your conversation honest, man. That's the Lord, and I'm, that's going to be the title of this lesson. I didn't know what I was going to title this, but through the spirit, it got to be that, man. It says, honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear the most high, honor the king. You know, of course, don't just be an asshole to everybody. Of course, you're going to love the oxen and fear the most high and honor the king. This is to keep the laws of the land. Okay, with, within the, the borders of, of serving Yahweh by Shinyal Shai, so to speak. It says, servants, be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the forward. If the apostles would be elder apostles and them put out decrees or things of that nature that's been subject to our masters man okay it don't matter it because you had a there was a brother that was speaking about uh, one of the decrees in you know a uh, certain temperature that they have down where he uh where he stay at you know where they do the work at he like he basically he's like i gotta deal with it you know because like it says, for this is thankworthy. If a man for conscious toward the most high endure grief, all right, suffering wrongfully, then it's not saying that those decrees are wrong. All of those, hey, I feel like they're honestly through the spirit. This is, this Paul was, you know, bringing out things that uh, he was like, and I speak this as a man, you know. This is, if you believe that these people are apostles and elders, it, it makes sense for you to trust in them. And follow them as they follow Hamashiach, man. All right, verse 20 says, For what glory is it if when, when ye are buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with the most high. You're going to get credit, man. Okay? For even here hereunto were ye called, because Hamashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth, who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judges righteously. Unto the Most High, man. He committed himself unto the Most High. He wasn't there to please men. He wasn't there to please himself. He was there to please him that judges righteously. Man. He didn't care about his reputation, which is going to come up in Philippians, man. It wasn't about him. It was about his duty. It was about his mission. It was about serving Yahweh by Shinyal Shai, man. Because this is Paul, uh, it's like this is Peter speaking about the Lord. He's speaking about his reputation. So Peter is able to talk about his reputation based off of 
what he what he witnessed, man. What he witnessed, or, or as well as what he heard, you know, because you do have some people who slander, all right. But you gotta bring out the evidence. Now, once you get into the evidence, it will determine the type of person that anyone is, man. Nobody wanna die. No, no. <laughs> everybody will call me an asshole when I'm dead. You know, like, you shouldn't want to carry yourself like that. You should want to be renowned for good deeds, man. All right? Not tearing up the damn town and shit. Okay, uh, this is this, this last one I'm getting into, man. Uh, what did I skip over? Uh, no, 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 no. I started the top. Uh, this is uh, Philippians 2 and 1. It says, if there... Be, uh, if there be therefore any consolation in Hamashiach, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercy, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like minded, having the same love, being on one accord and on one mind. And when these decrees are put out, okay, or 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 uh, things are you know you got flowing in the Spirit, you gotta be in tune, man. All right, because if you you coming out, uh, if you that's stupid. I ain't got to, you know, just not being on one accord. That's not being like-minded. All right? Therefore, what? You, that's what happens when things get cut off. All right? It says, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. It's not always about you. Now, in this sense, you know, when we're out there representing the Lord, you know, we need to represent the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Make sure we're, we're going in the spirit, sending up prayers before we hit the highways, you know, or, or before you about to do your lessons and, and sit downs, you know, even even talk to a brother, man. Me and a brother the other day, we had a situation and I really didn't know how to address it, but then it came back up through the spirit. So I prayed to the Heavenly Father, you know, like, just, you know, give me the right words and, and let this thing be resolved because... You don't want that hate just sitting in the atmosphere because Satan going to feed off of that, man. All right? Society will feed off of that. And then what you would say, well, that is, that'd be a bad reputation. Oh, man, they was always fighting amongst each other and they can't get along. Why would I want to be in that Israelite stuff? It's just like every other religion. And blah, blah. You know? Uh, it says, let this... Uh, let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach and Hawashai, who being, uh, who being in the form of, a mo of the Most High, thought it not robbery to be equal with the Most High, but made himself of no reputation. It's not about us, right? And took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Like Paul said, I, uh, unto the Jews, I became Jew. Unto them under the law, I became uh, un, uh, under the law. It's not about us. It's about getting this word out there efficiently, all right, properly, okay, in, 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 a, in a good manner, man, all right, in the honest conversation. It says, uh, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore the Most High also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. See, you have a, there is another Yahweh Shai in the scriptures, okay? But that name, he, you know, of course, it's Yahweh Shai Mashiach, you know, he got anointed. But it also comes with that reputation to where you would know which one you're talking about. All right. Like, uh, what's that? Um, I think it's Acts chapter seven in verse 40. No, it's Acts seven, I believe. When they, you know, uh, they was giving the rundown about Moses and Joshua and all of them. And they said, they said, you know, when you read the scripture, say Jesus. But that he wasn't back then, you know. He wasn't back then. He didn't come after Moses. That was Joshua. You know, which, you know, that's the same. They have the same name, but the reputation fits Joshua. It doesn't fit the Lord, man. Okay. It says, um, uh, 
verse uh, 9, it says, uh, I'm going to read that again. Wherefore the Most High also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahweh every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is Lord to the glory of the Most High, the Father. So at the end of the day, that's what it, we're representing something great man we have great power you know and great we have a great responsibility okay and and it's just like you know your car you know you don't just drive the car all dirty you know just eating burgers and throwing the half got three month old burgers in your car and all like somebody get in your car like man you a dirty motherfucker you know what i'm saying so we we ought to keep the most highs uh tabernacle if you will you know his sanctuary clean you know a good reputation man of an honest conversation man hey with that lord willing you was edified i want to give all praise and say yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim wakar kadash double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone blessing to the elect of yasha Allah, as well as you men out there and doing this truth across the four winds of the earth as well as you women and children that follow shalom